for the last glorious 385 yards. Now he is on Hereford. He's on Hereford for a short time before he makes the left onto Boylston where we will be able to see him from our position. Marcel Hoog way out in front. The Swiss competitor He's raced won. this course four times prior. He's been a winner in Olita, a very famous marathon in Japan. He's won that three times. He won in New York in 2013. Two-time winner at the Berlin Marathon, but this is going to be a crowning achievement in his career for sure. To go to his website, he puts it out there. He says, I want to be respected as an athlete. I don't want to be admired as a person with an impairment. That does not define me. I'm in a wheelchair, but I am an athlete first. And with the police escorts, the finish line now in sight, passing the cheering crowds, Marcel Hoog to be our men's wheelchair champion here in the 119th Boston Marathon. This will give us a good idea on uh, the following finishing times that we'll see because the wheelchair is always established. It was interesting. In 27, the hurricane year, and 2011, the fast tailwind year, we had Masuzima Sojima and Chu. Uh, Wakato Tuchita both won those races 19 minutes apart for the women in the same person same chair same course 19 minute difference the men a nine minute difference between the best year and the worst year that also this will tell us a lot about Marcel Hoog and what kind of time he can produce and here he comes 129 50 51 52 Hoog. our men's wheelchair champion Marcel Hoog breaks the tape at the Boston Marathon 129 53 which is right in line with the 2007 hurricane year so it's nine minutes slower, slower. than the course record.